and welcome to Altair Solar. I'm here with President Khalid Al Sharif. I'm Ariana Escalante, and today we are asking, what is the federal solar tax credit? Uh, all right, the ITC or the investment tax credit or the solar tax credit, so many names for it, you know. So it's basically a federal program that uh, was enacted, I believe, in 2006. And, uh, you know, it's a dollar for dollar uh, tax credit. Uh, you know, it assumes that you have a tax liability. Based on that liability, you can get back a dollar for dollar. Meaning, for example, if, if let's say your uh, solar system cost is maybe $20,000, uh, you get a certain percentage back. Uh, so let's say when it was 30%, you know, you had a system $20,000. So that's basically $6,000 of tax rebate. Uh, assuming you're going to have a tax liability of $6,000 or more, you could basically get that money back from the government. Uh, and then also uh, it allows you to uh, carry it over for three years, or, or it did allow you to carry it over for three years up until basically the end of it. So uh, this is for residential, system has to be operational. So you're meaning, meaning uh, pretty much you have to have it installed uh, before the end of the year to qualify for it. That's on the residential. And for commercial, you have to, uh, the, re the regulations are slightly different. Uh, you know, you could probably start the project. You don't have to finish it before the end of the year to qualify for the tax credit. Uh, that's in, 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 a, you know, in a nutshell, but it's a great program because you end up saving a lot of money uh, if you decide to go solar. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a federal program, like I said. It's basically, uh, you know, available nationwide in every single state. If someone does get to take advantage of the federal solar tax credit, are they still also able to take advantage of other incentives or does it impact that? Uh, actually, that's a very good question. Uh, a lot of people get confused about that. It's, uh, you know, yes, you can obviously get it, but you have to claim the, like, let's say again, back to the example of $20,000, you know, if let's say you're getting uh, some local utility or state incentives and that's going to be another maybe $3,000. So now the tax amount that you're supposed to claim should be 17000 not 20000 So you claim it after the, the, the you know, the, the total basically that you're going to pay out of pocket. Uh, so it's still still obviously uh, you know great, but your you know your your tax credit is going to be a slightly less because it's going to be calculated based on 17 in that case, not 20. What are some of the considerations to see if you're eligible for the credit? Okay, uh, you know as I mentioned, you have to have a tax liability. Uh, you know, so meaning you have to you know you're planning, uh, you owe the basically the the federal government you owe some money, or you you know you are going to owe some money. So. Uh, it's not a rebate, meaning, you know, if you don't have a tax liability this year, you can't take advantage of it. Uh, so you have to have that liability to get that money back, you know. So it's not money that the government is basically giving to you for free. You have to owe that money, you know, uh, as, as opposed to a rebate, I guess. A rebate would be some, some funds that are allocated for, for a certain program. You're going to get it regardless. So that's kind of like the main differences. So, uh, and, and in some situations, some people are not uh, eligible because of that. And then, you know, so then, you know, you have to consider maybe a different program, uh, such as a lease, um, you know, that at least probably would, would help you in, a, in, in that regard because the leasing company takes advantage of that tax credit and they pass on some of those savings to you. Is that credit able to be rolled over at all? Yes, so absolutely. Like if you cannot take advantage of the whole thing this year, then you can, you know, take maybe half and then half next year. Do you have any other advice for viewers who are interested in this? Uh, you know, the advice is if you're planning to go solar, again, it's important that you make that decision sooner than later before some of these programs expire, because that's the money that's going to get wasted. You know, you're still going to, you're still going to, you know, obviously save money in solar. You're still going to, you know, have a great, uh, you know, return on investment, but it's going to maybe get pushed back, you know, a year or so if you didn't take advantage of that. So, but there are actually, uh, there is right now a bill being introduced in the Congress that they're actually planning to extend the tax credit. So that's great news for, uh, for the solar industry, it's great news for the consumers. If that passes, then that would be, uh, you, know, a, you know, like a, as I say, the chance for people to save extra money and, and achieve a faster ROI. Well, we'll be sure to keep our eye out. Thanks for sharing that with us. Again, this is Altair Solar with President Khalid Al Sheriff. I'm Ariana Escalante, and if you have any questions that you'd like us to talk about, please let us know, and we'll see you soon.